everyone, Kimberly back here, and welcome back to another partner release segment. Today we're going to focus on the lower back and the quadratus, so the QLs. Um, a lot of times when people have a sore lower back, it's usually caused by tightness in the, in the gluteus and in the quadratus. We're also going to go up and into the shoulders and do some shoulder work, and we'll end with nice neck traction today. So hop on your mats and help your partners up. We're started standing and get that traditional leg traction going. So scooping underneath the heels, always reminding your partner to relax, take a nice breath in, and holding good posture and breathing yourself. So this is great to get immediately into the lower back, tracking down the legs. Then we're going to go into a supported pigeon. So right knee, taking the leg over, and my partner is very tight, so we've got the left leg here, I'm mixing up my sides, and then you want to bend the knee, and then press it in the foot into your thigh, and keep the foot flexed here, so you can tell your partner to do that, or they can do it, you can hold it yourself, and just slowly pressing in, so I'm already starting to get resistance, so I'm going to relax here. My partner unfortunately broke his pelvis when he was a young boy, so these moves here are really going to help. I take the heel of my hand, this is where I rotate little circles in the gluteus, and at the same time I do that, you'll see on the other side, I pull down through the side of the hip, and I'm wedging my elbow into the upper part of my thigh, and I lean and rock into the movement. So a lot of the movement is your own body weight. Just press your heel of your hand into the gluteus and you slowly will release that. Give a little traction, bending the knee, flexing the foot above the knee, bend the opposite knee, foot into your thigh, walking forward right here. Waiting just to see what we get here. Where the resistance is, taking the heel of the hand into the glute, wedge your elbow into your thigh, and you rotate. When you rotate, you take your other four fingers, you pull down and rotate, down and rotate. So you get really good motion here. Again, you're leaning your body weight into the posture. Always communicate with your partner to see if they want you to go longer. Shake it out. And then take your hands out to the sides, your arms. Good. Now this posture that we're going to do, we're going to get into the lower back, the shoulders, and the quadratus. It's a great posture, great release. This is actually my partner's favorite one. So you're crossing the knee. The opposite arm goes over the top, okay, or the same, same. So where the leg is, that arm goes over the top on the same side, and the opposite arm is underneath because you're going to get a twist going. So you cuff the arm, push up on the leg, tell your partner to inhale, and we're going to exhale and we'll lift up. They come up. Again, where there's resistance, you stop. Give them a little swing and time in the posture. So right here, I am pushing up lightly on the leg. How's that feel? It feels good. Okay. And release them down. You just do that on the other side. I'll show you quickly. And we'll just relax here. Take a breath in. And exhale. See how the twist is going through the trunk of the body. They're very relaxed and limp. Not the neck. No, no, he's helping. He has to support his head. He can't be like, like that. So you do support your head. And release down. Good. Now we're going to sit our partners up. So I'm going to give... No, no, I'll sit you up, honey. Oh, okay. Everybody used to relax, babe. 
<laughs> so we're gonna come up with the legs, again, just giving the traction. Now we're gonna cross the legs. Bring them towards your shins. Ask your partner to grab onto your forearms. Tell them to tuck their chin in. Inhale. Exhale. And on the inhale, we're gonna lift them up. Make sure they don't lift up themselves. And relax. Arms here. We're gonna come in and do a shoulder press. So sometimes it's uncomfortable for our partners to sit cross-legged. So you can sit cross-legged or take your legs out. Okay. Sit up nice and tall and relax. This is a palm press on the tops of the shoulders with a little bit of a body rock. And I've got my knees pointed out so that my knees don't push into the back. That's uncomfortable. You can just do a little rock here, warm them up. You can even come in through the front where the pecs are and press the shoulder into you. Again, alternating. Then we're gonna come into the lower back. So we're going to walk our hands down the back on either side of the spine, never on the spine, okay? So starting at the shoulder, they're going to kind of get pushed forward, but it feels really good. You're just palm pressing with the heel of your hand, alternating down the back, down either side of the spine. Make sure that your feet have traction so that you don't slip, because this is a lot of force here. So I'm putting my whole body weight into this. And you get right down into the quadratus, right into the lower back. It's a wonderful release. More. More. <laughs> so the next move, it's, it depends on the size of you and your partner, but we're a pretty good size team here. So you can do this move or you can skip this move or you can do the move on you or you can do on him. So let's take the hands behind the head. Okay, now I'm gonna squeeze a little bit of the pelvis. Take my hands under and weave them through the gap. And then I wanna push my chest into his back and draw the elbows open. So you got like this wing sort of thing going on. And then you lean back. So nice lower back release. And then you can come up. And this is where we do little circles. So you just go sideways laterally. Move forwards. Come over to the side. And we just do little circles. You doing okay? I'm pretty much dead weight. Dead weight. Around. You can hear little cricks and cracks coming out. But it's all positive. Lean back one more time. Come up. Release the hands. And we'll allow our partners to come back down onto their back. We'll support them. Yep. And we're just going to wrap our partners up. Come back and do one little neck traction. So draw your chin in. Palms open. We'll just wrap them up here. They stay warm. It's like the little burrito. Okay, you come in, tuck your feet under. We'll end with traction up the spine. So relaxing. This posture, this move, you want to make sure that the weight is completely like a heavy bowling ball because you'll benefit so much more. So neck traction. I like to rest my elbows on my legs. Make sure that there's no tension in your partner's mouth. They're not clenching the jaw. posture is good and you're not clenching your jaw and you're breathing. So you can hold this posture for, you know, as long as you can comfortably and for your partner because it does feel good for them. On your way down, you put your fingers down as far as you can on either side of the spine and drag up, giving 
contraction, so I'm pulling the head away from the neck as they walk down. Tell your partner, thank you. Thank you. And that's the end of that. <laughs>